What's up guys, I'm Taylor at Go Power Sports. Today I'm gonna walk you through our Juggernaut tuner kits and how to install each kit and the springs. These are the Juggernaut tuner kits. We have tuner kit one, two, three, and then the torsion springs. The torsion springs add roughly 400 RPM to a stock Juggernaut. If you add them to each kit, they add anywhere from 250 to 350. So in the tuner kit one, you have a titanium bolt, aluminum nut, and the titanium bushing. Tuner kit two, same thing, just different color nut. And then you add a lightened steel roller. I'll show you the difference compared to the stock one here in a second. And then tuner kit three, same thing as the others, titanium bolt, titanium bushing, aluminum nut, and then an aluminum roller. So this is the lightest roller that you can get. It'll give you the highest stall possible. And then the springs, you have three lefts, three rights. These add quite a bit of RPM to each one of these kits. And you can also run these on the stock setup. Um, here is the stock juggernaut. Beautiful piece. We're about to make it even better. So if you have a vise, definitely makes it easier. I always use a vise. First thing, I think this is a 10 millimeter. Yep, 10 millimeter Allen. Bell. Oh, before I dig in, all of these parts, every single piece in here, if you break something, if you strip something, we sell all of these parts individual. Just type in Juggernaut on Go Power Sports, and it'll pull up every single one of these parts. So we're just gonna do the tuner kit two today, but this process remains true for all of them. So, let's dig in. Basically, you just need a screwdriver or something that fits right here to pry this out a little bit. You see it's super easy. So pry that out some, and then you need a wedge of some sort. This piece just works perfect. Just like that, make sure it's in there good and not gonna come out. So, now you see the roller is free. Uh, five millimeter Allen on the bolt, 10 millimeter wrench on the nut. Kit two. Same size on the titanium bolt. Get your nut started by hand. These are lock nut, so don't go crazy, and they are aluminum, so you can strip them. Don't use an impact, you do it by hand. The nylon's gonna keep it on there nice and tight. So just up and just nice and snug on there? Nice and, and snug. Make sure that, so do you want this to be able to roll? It will roll. Okay. 
no matter how tight you get it because the bushing is I think, 10 or 20 thousandths wider than the roller. This is all tight on that bushing inside there. It is compressing the bushing. That bushing is not going to spin or move. The roller is free, as you can see. You have side to side play. Make sure that spins. If it doesn't, you have some sort of issue. Same thing. Take pressure off. Pop it out. Now, what is cool about these, like if you bought the tuner kit 3, the tuner kit 2, and the springs, you can achieve every RPM on this list. As you can see here, we did a lot of testing one day where we just did, like, we did the stock driver, everything stock, all we did was the titanium bolts, and it gained us 200 RPM. On this one, we did aluminum rollers, titanium bushing, stock bolt, and aluminum nuts, and that gained us 3450. So, with those kits, the springs, you can get anything on this list, really dial in your bike exactly how you want it. So, we have one side done. Now I'm going to show you how to install the springs. Make sure you have three rights and three lefts. This is the left hand. That is a left hand. These three. And then that is a right hand. So, one of each. pop these springs off. So flathead screwdriver. I like a pretty decent size one that's not going to bend on you. Can you see that? Wedge it in there. Hold on, let me get Okay. Pop it off. And on this side. Let's pop all the springs off. Don't want to bust your camera lens. I want to get that spider out of the way. So you said that's a four mil? Four millimeter. So I got the bolt. I think we call this the retaining pin. No, not the retaining pin. Uh, clamp pin. Or clamp bracket. So from here, you can lift this whole assembly out. Match it up with this one. these to lay in there flat. You want this piece like that. All right, that's back in place. Make sure that these bushings, the spring bushings, these have a shoulder on them that come inside this arm. Make sure those are all the way in there. So those are in place, they're good. Now let's get that clamp back in. I never put Loctite on these, putting them back in. But if you want to use blue or something light, you can. I've honestly never had one back out. The first one is definitely the trickiest. If you have a spacer that you can put on here that will keep that up from falling down, it definitely helps. I don't know if I'll be able to. Well, let's use a rag. This should work just fine. So 
grab my handy dandy Leatherman, grab the spring, Tap that over just to make sure everything's seated. So now this ain't going anywhere. You can get your sham or rag out. This other side is always a little trickier. I can't get in there with my pliers. I'm going to use a little pick. Boom. So, let's inspect it. Bushings are tucked inside the arm. It looks perfectly straight in line with the spider. I like to always double check and make sure this does spin. There we go. So the bushing is still free. Springs look good. They're all the way on the bushings. They're tucked inside those little crevices on the arms. Those little arms are still bent where the springs aren't going to pop out. This side is good to go. That's all done. Put your bell back on, line up those flats. Bolt. So you just watched how to install the Juggernaut tuner kits onto the Go Power Sports Juggernaut. We showed you how to install the springs, the differences in the springs, and the differences in each kit. So from this point, you are ready to rock and roll. Put it on your bike, have a tack on there, play around with your RPM engagement. See what best suits your riding style, your bike, and your engine. Make sure you ride safe. Let us know what you think of these kits. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.